how to deposit in Binance. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step -step on how you can deposit cryptocurrency or even fiat currency to your Binance account. So fiat currency is gonna be like Australian dollars, US dollars, pounds, you know, euros or anything like that. And cryptocurrency is pretty self-explanatory as well because we can go ahead and actually, for instance, send out Bitcoin to our Binance account so we can go ahead and trade on the Binance exchange. So if you haven't already, I will provide a link down below in the video description where you can go ahead and actually sign up for a free account for Binance so you can follow along um, during this tutorial. And yeah, with that being said, let's begin today's Binance tutorial video on how you can deposit funds. All right, so as you can see on screen, we are logged into my Binance account. And again, if you click the top link down below in the video description, you can follow along with me throughout today's video and you'll come to this exact page. It may look different over time, but essentially you'll come to this page or a similar page where you can sign up for a free account so you can also deposit funds into your new Binance account. So what we wanna do is go over here to the top of the screen right here where it says wallet and we wanna click on overview. And inside of overview, you can see your account balance right here, all the different currencies you have. And what we can also do is click on deposit right here and we can deposit cryptocurrencies and fiat currencies. So if we click on deposit right here, as you can see, we can deposit cash, deposit your local currencies such as GBP, euros, etc., and get started with trading crypto fiat pair. You can also deposit cryptocurrency, like I said, so you can receive crypto from any external wallet with your wallet address or QR code. So let's go ahead and deposit crypto just for an example. And as you can see right here, if we want to deposit cryptocurrency or like Bitcoin in this example, we can go ahead and copy this address and we can send Bitcoin from one address to our exchange address right here. And we can also copy the QR code right here and we can go ahead and do the same thing. And let's just say you want to receive Ethereum instead of Bitcoin. So you want to like send let's just say Ethereum from like one of your own wallets, maybe you have like a hardware wallet, like the Ledger Nano or the Trezor, you wanna send your Ethereum to your Binance account right here. You can just copy this address and send your Ethereum to this address right here, which is pretty cool. And you can do the same thing for various other different cryptocurrencies right here, which is pretty cool. And we can also do the same thing when it comes to fiat currencies. So like I said, we can also deposit money. So if we go over here to fiat, we can see right here that we choose what currency you want to actually deposit. And if you haven't already, you want to make sure to complete your identity verification. If we click on like verify now right here, you'll see that you'll like verify your identity information right here. You'll obviously choose your country, basic information and all type of stuff. So click on start right here. We'll obviously have to put in some personal information. So that's just something to keep in mind. But once you complete that, you'll be able to go ahead and you can choose like what currency you want. So let's just choose USD for example. So if we put in USD, if we can deal with USD currency. We can choose the type of bank that we want. So as you can see, um, this is just an example right here. And we can go ahead and make a transaction and swap our fiat currency for cryptocurrency inside of our account. And once we do that, we can go ahead and trade and buy various different cryptocurrencies inside of our account. And we can build out our portfolio. So that's how it works right here. So as you can see, we can all we have to do is go to wallet, go to, the, to overview and click on deposit. We can also go over here to buy cryptocurrency and click on bank deposit. So if we click on that, credit card. So as you can see right here, we can basically buy with our credit card. So let's just say we want to put in like 500 for an example. We can basically do that and we can buy cryptocurrency right here and our card as well. So that's also like another option right here. So how to buy with bank card, input amount, confirm payment details, complete safety certification and complete payments. So I also saw that within the Binance account as well. You can do that. I personally go over here to wallet and just do it through that, but you can also go ahead and like, you know, do that as well. You can also easily withdraw as well. I'll make another video about that as well. And most importantly, I will make a more detailed tutorial video showing you how you can actually use Binance to its full functionality. Um, we've covered a lot in today's video in regards to depositing your cryptocurrencies inside of your Binance account. But like I said, you know, I will be making a more detailed tutorial video. In fact, I do have like a review of Binance as well. If you do want like a bit of an overview on the platform. So I will provide some links down below for that as well. And, you know, make sure to subscribe as well for more up to date videos on Binance and more tutorial videos and more guides within the cryptocurrency space because everything's just going crazy right now. Um, and there's always new things happening. So yeah, that's basically it for today's video. I hope you learned a lot in regards to like depositing funds into your Binance account. 
like I said, we can deposit cryptocurrencies into our exchange account inside of Binance. So let's just say we have our own individual wallet already that's outside of Binance. We can send Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever into our Binance account. So we can start trading inside of Binance and, you know, do some exchanges. We can also, like I said, we can go over here to wallet, click on overview, we go over here to fiat. We can obviously deposit using a payment method like USD all that type of stuff. It's important to do your identity verification. But once you do that, you'll have full access to your account and you can very, very freely buy cryptocurrency with your fiat cash as well. So that's basically it for today's video. Again, I will provide a link down below if you do want to sign up for a free Binance account so you can go ahead and actually get started as soon as possible. And again, you can also click the top link down below for more information so you can go to the official Binance website. And thanks again for watching today's video and how you can deposit fiat and cryptocurrency inside of your Binance account.